Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give a short video on why I decided to pursue a master's degree in petroleum engineering. I've gotten this question frequently and I thought I would go ahead and answer this in a video. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video below so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell when you do subscribe because I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic, such as this video, and every Sunday is a technical review. Well, let's get to the content. You may be thinking about pursuing higher education, but you don't want to make the commitment to pursue it full time if, you're leaving the, if you want to leave the industry. Well, Today I'm going to give you my experiences on why I decided to pursue a master's degree in petroleum engineering. I decided to pursue the master's degree in petroleum engineering because I've actually wanted to do it for quite some time. When I was a freshman at the University of Texas, I actually wanted to pursue a PhD. I wanted to pursue all three levels of education, reach the highest level of education in petroleum engineering, and then get a job. However, whenever I was in interviews for internships as a freshman to recruiters, I let them know that I wanted to pursue a master's degree. But the interesting story was these recruiters discouraged me from pursuing higher education. They kept telling me how I'd be less reliable to be a new hire because it would take me longer to graduate and the salary differences between a master's degree and between a bachelor's degree petroleum engineer is not that much. Now, I wasn't thinking about the incremental salary as the reason as to why I wanted to pursue higher education, but I realized that I had people telling me that I shouldn't they were discouraging me to pursue higher education. Now, I had a professor in my junior year of college that started talking about the importance of graduate school and how, why one should pursue graduate school. And I still remembered that. It was something that was in the back of my mind, but I didn't think about it too much because I was so affected by what the recruiters told me. And I was in fact rejected from internship offers because I wanted to pursue a master's degree. When I graduated from university, I worked full time for an operating company. And I knew that I wanted to get the full time experience and stay in the industry. However, I also knew that I didn't want to take a break from the industry, but I still had a sense of wanting to pursue higher education. When I started working for University Lands as a production engineer, I was with other technical professionals that had higher education degrees, and I was the only one with a bachelor's degree. I didn't feel bad about that at the time. What I was thinking about was how can I keep my technical skills afresh and how do I understand the technical concepts a little bit better? That's where it hit me in that I should pursue higher education. And that's when I started pursuing higher education or seriously pursuing higher education. But I didn't want to leave the industry with two years of work experience under my belt. That narrowed down options for me to pursue a working professional's master's degree at Texas A&M University. I could pursue higher education while working at my job. And I was fortunately, I was able to do that while studying at Texas A&M while working for University Lands and now for the company that I work for today. The reason why I wanted to pursue petroleum engineering as a master's degree is I wanted to refine my technical skills. I knew I wanted to stay in the oil and gas industry and I will continue to pursue an oil and gas career and I wanted to get a deeper perspective in petroleum engineering concepts than what I've learned in undergrad. So the focus that I had was in reservoir engineering and my focus or my thesis was on drawdown strategies. So that's combining production and reservoir engineering together. 
I took the classes that I thought would enrich me, such as in geomechanics, reservoir simulation, a little bit of statistics to give myself some foundation of machine learning and AI and all those fun buzzwords. So I took the classes that I needed to take. I wanted to be a technical professional and take a technical route to my career. And that's when I knew that I wanted to pursue a master's degree. It would make me happier. It doesn't hurt pursuing higher education. That's one thing I would say. Another thing that I would say is that don't let someone discourage you for pursuing what you want. That's one of the lessons that I learned when I was interviewing as a freshman in university. I wanted to share that story with you because that really did impact me and that let me defer my dream of pursuing higher education because I had someone say no to me. And needless to say, those are the companies that I've never worked for. And those companies don't exist anymore to say the least. For those of you who are thinking about pursuing higher education or you wanna pursue a master's degree in petroleum engineering, if you're really passionate about the industry, I'd say go for it. And I, would, I can guarantee you that if you have a passion for it, if this is something that you really want to do and if you really like oil and gas, you're going to find a job. That isn't something that you should be worried about. There's no harm in higher education. And yes, when you are pursuing education, you want to apply it to the industry that you want to pursue. So if you want to pursue something in the oil and gas industry, and if you want to refine your technical skills, then I strongly suggest you pursue the master's degree in petroleum engineering or any master's degree in something that's technical based on what route you want to take. That's all the things that I wanted to mention to everyone. And that's a wrap of this video. Once again, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to me answer this question, and I hope to see you in the next video.